So I had about three hours of sleep, as usual. Absolute torture. My head is killing me. I have a referral to a head and neck surgeon. And uh, another neurosurgeon. The problem is I don't have anybody to back me up. Don't have family to fight for me. Um, the problem with ENT and I don't sleep because of the K KRE malformation and I can't breathe adequately to maintain sleep. And the problem with uh, ENT, uh, my sinuses, a surgeon did a surgery years ago to me that I did not sign consent for this surgery. I did not agree to this surgery. He told I agreed to a different surgery. He agreed. He told me he was going to trim a little bit of the flesh away. What he did, unbeknownst to me, was cut out two big pieces of bone, opening my sinuses wide up. He deliberately didn't tell me this. After the surgery, I was calling his office saying, why does it feel like someone, if you trimmed a little bit of the flesh, why does it feel like someone has taken a baseball bat and bashed me in the face with it? And he was just dodging my questions. The, deck, the secretary and the him dodging my questions. I woke up during the surgery. I stopped breathing after the surgery. I woke up while this guy was hacking bone out of my face and I couldn't understand why are these like, why is this like, like violent? Imagine someone hacking bone out of your face and you're awake. If someone is supposed to be trimming a little bit of the flesh away, cutting a little bit of the flesh away with a knife. Why is this such a violent, violent procedure? Like the trauma, right? The PTSD. And then I stopped breathing after the surgery. I was telling them I can't breathe. I can't breathe. They didn't believe me. Then I started waving my arms and then I blacked out. They sent me home with 40 opioids after that, after I just stopped breathing in their care. I wanted answers. What, why did I wake up? Why did I stop breathing? What has all happened here? They refused to answer my questions. They, for, they, they refused. So I left and they gave me a prescription. The, he, the doctor gave me a prescription for 40 opioids after I just stopped breathing in his care. Severe undiagnosed sleep apnea. And then it took me years to find out what, what this guy did to me. Uh, you know, my breathing has changed. My voice has changed. Um, this mixes up the brain how to breathe. This guy did a surgery on me that I did not consent to and other doctors were covering up. Other doctors would read the report and they would look horrified, but I couldn't understand the medical language, right? Uh, maxillary anstrostomy. I didn't understand that the medical terminology, this guy did a surgery without my consent and he got away with it and and severe I live with severe pain and and 
dryness and bleeding and there's no mucus inside here and it's just 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 pain it's like having a sinus infection just non-stop 365 days a year year after year pain bleeding and it it changes your breathing it mixes your brain up to breathe because you're bre you're getting air into your face air into your cavities it's wrong it's it's not normal and it literally does mix up your brain so guess what all the other ENT surgeons know that this has happened. They don't want anything to do with me. Here's the thing. In Canada, if one, of, if one colleague has injured you, has harmed you, done something wrong to you, none of them want anything to do with you. If someone injures you, and and they don't want to speak to they don't want to talk about it they they refuse they zip up they don't want to talk about the damage that has been done to you they don't want to talk about what their colleague has done to you even if they're mad about it they will treat you with hostility they don't want to if one of the specialists has injured you the other ones in that in that specialty they don't want anything. Actually, it's like that for all doctors. They, they don't want to talk about it. They don't want anything to do with you. So I am, I am literally sick and being tortured here. And one more referral has been sent out. This is a guy who, who has turned me away already. They, they, this healthcare system expects you to pack up and move when Everyone is refusing to see you because what of if one of their doctors has injured you. Got a referral for another neurosurgeon. These neurosurgeons rely on on these other specialists to back up that you need surgery. The sleep specialists failed me over and over again. They misdiagnosed me for years. They were refusing my referrals. These guys are supposed to back you up and support that you need help. And they won't do that because they're angry that how they repeatedly failed me. So I'm fighting for my life. What do you think is going to happen here? These two referrals went out. I don't sleep. I need help. I can't breathe to sleep. I need reconstructive surgery here, but, but I need Chiari surgery and these specialists are supposed to support me, but they're all angry at me for what they have done to me.